I'm having trouble deciding if something is in my color analysis palette or not. And I've been hearing this uh, from a lot of you and I just want to share with you that people I meet with over Zoom or in person, I usually suggest if somebody is having trouble determining, let's say if they were a true summer, uh, figuring out if a true summer blue is actually a true summer blue or belonging to a blue in another palette, I usually suggest to people uh, that you may want to get the set of 10 uh, strip cards. That way you can familiarize yourself with the other uh, palette options and the undertone value and intensity ranges of the other palette options. If you are having trouble, uh, you know, identifying if something's in their palette or not, looking to other palettes will help uh, further refine your eye. And uh, so I'm happy to uh, share with you that on the products page on my site now in the digital download section, happy to share that I've worked with the International Image Institute to uh, create digital downloads that have the 10 uh, strips on them if you were interested and also digital downloads for each color analysis palette. I'm not salesy at all. Uh, I just want you, if you're having trouble uh, figuring out if something's in your palette or not, uh, looking to other palettes and other references may help you uh, hone in and refine your eye. Just also respectful of copyright and, and so that's why I have worked with the International Image Institute to make these available uh, to you on my products page. If you've been color analyzed by me, you would have received a digital download of your palette. Really the uh, downloads of for each palette are helpful if you uh, already know your color analysis results and haven't been color analyzed by me and want to get a uh, digital palette reference. Another thing that has come up with clients of late is people really um, looking at their natural hair color over time and seeing some warmth to it and thinking they can't be a fully cool undertone palette. And so I, I want to just address that sort of thing. So the underlying coloring of brown hair is red and orange. I've talked about it in other videos. And natural hair color <laughs> and hair salon hair colors are two different things. So let's say you were given a result of true summer and in your pictures over time, you see warmth in your hair. Here's a picture, for example, of me who is a true summer in my teen years. And here's a picture of me in my early 20s graduating from university. This hair color looks very different from a hair salon ash hair colors. And that's because it's my natural hair color. And there's also warmth showing in it because sun is shining at me. And so the underlying quality of the uh, brown hair is peeking through. I will also say too, in this picture, my family growing up had a pool and so I was swimming. And so this hair color has been altered by uh, chemicals in the pool. Even now, I do use a purple shampoo quite frequently on my hair to remove some unwanted warm deposits that happen just through uh, chemicals perhaps I use on my hair and the environment, uh, sunlight and what have you. And so uh, a natural uh, brown hair will always show some sort of warmth to it. And when I review historical pictures that are submitted through my color analysis service, certainly uh, the environmental aspects and uh, coloring that uh, may appear in older photos it's taken into account. It's it's understood that people won't be in natural daylighting uh, or, or optimal camera lighting in these historical pictures. When I look at historical pictures, again, I factor all these elements in. Uh, when I look at historical pictures, if uh, the tone of the hair is going to appear off and, and I do that sort of assessment, I literally just look at them and go, was it blonde hair? Was it dark brown hair? Was it, uh, you know, a medium brown hair? We don't all arrive at puberty at the same age. And so sometimes uh, there's late bloomers. And so uh, perhaps at age 18, your hair was blonde, but perhaps at age 26, it turned brown. And, and so 
all those elements are uh, factored in. And hopefully this helps you if you've been receiving uh, or if you've, sorry, received a color analysis result that you're processing uh, and perhaps it was true summer and you saw some warmth to your hair in your uh, younger years. Uh, seeing my pictures and this discussion hopefully has helped you. I am still in Ireland and producing videos still apparently with wet hair and in terrible lighting. I'm working from here so if your results pending to have no fear, uh, I am currently sitting in Dingle. I hope you are all having a beautiful day.